Hey friends, thanks so much for watching. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on today's homemaking motivation video. Today I'm sharing with you some cleaning, some baking, and a little bit of Christmas shopping because I was at Hobby Lobby the other day and I wanted to give you a sneak peek in this video of some of the Christmas decor that I found and just a little bit of bits and pieces of my life and what I've been up to lately. So definitely be sure to hit the like button if this gives you lots of motivation. And if you are new, please consider subscribing before you go. Let's go ahead and get started. We are starting off with some cleaning motivation for you guys today and this was filmed after I had gotten off work and if you guys follow me over on Instagram you know by the end of the day I am full on teacher tired and I just don't have energy or motivation of my own to do absolutely anything but Sometimes if I have the dishwasher to unload or a bathroom to straighten up, I will squeeze a little bit of cleaning in at the end of my day. But lately I have been doing the majority of my cleaning on the weekends because that is when I have time to actually focus on it and I feel fully rested. But we're gonna take care of the kitchen, do some other cleaning, and later in the video, I'm gonna share with you guys a really yummy recipe for a pumpkin cookie that I made the other day. I have taken it now to two events and everybody said it was a big hit and they loved it. It, so definitely be sure to stick around for that recipe and I'll include it down in the description box as well my heart starts racing but I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting around it's a shame that my hands start shaking all of the time when you're around me but this time this time One of my very last Mrs. Meyers fall scented multi-surface sprays. So I have been switching back and forth between my Mrs. Meyers cleaners and my Jaws cleaners. And I am so excited because I just placed an order on Grove Collaborative for all of the winter scents. I got some dish soaps and some multi-surface sprays and maybe a hand soap. Sometimes I take uh, dish soap to school and use it to like clean out my coffee cup there. And then I always have hand soap in each one of my bathrooms and by the sink. So I definitely needed to place an order for a few items but let me know down below what your favorite Christmas scent is and if you've already ordered it and if you haven't already ordered your Christmas Mrs. Meyer scents then I will have my Grove collaborative link in the description box and you guys can get a free $35 set with your first purchase so now would be a great time if you want to get your hands on those Christmas scents to try it out. So I definitely needed to vacuum and the other day I emptied out my robot vacuum and I could not tell whether there was more of Josie, my little kitten's hair in there or whether there was more of my hair but honestly between the two of us we do plenty of shedding so these carpets need to be vacuumed pretty regularly. <laughs>
So I also wanted to include in this video a little sneak peek of something that Jack and I have been working on and I don't want to give away too much because I'm going to have a whole video dedicated to this but since the weather has been so nice we have been really taking advantage of getting some outdoor projects done. So these are some new Adirondack chairs that I got from my parents for my birthday and we picked a stain that I really really loved and I had never stained anything before and the process was really really easy. So far we've only done one of the four chairs but I'll be sharing all of the stuff that we got to do this project and everything coming up here pretty soon and in another few weeks. So definitely be sure to subscribe if you love outdoor projects and renovation videos because I have been making a lot of them lately. And now we're gonna move on to baking and I'm gonna have this recipe in the description box if you guys wanna check it out. But I feel like making cookies or basically any baked goods from scratch is one of my favorite things to do in the fall. I love breaking out the KitchenAid mixer, making lots of treats. So these pumpkin cookies were super easy. And with one can of pumpkin, I was actually able to make this batch three times. So if you are taking cookies for a party or some kind of event with friends or family, then these are definitely going to be a big hit. So like I was saying, only one can of pumpkin was necessary for this recipe and you only need a half a cup. So the entire can made this recipe three times over and it was so, so easy to make. The thing that absolutely makes this recipe though are all of the spices and you definitely don't wanna skimp on any of the spices. So if you wanna make this recipe and you don't have some of these spices, definitely make sure you get your hands on them. They are good for just about any fall recipe. I have used them before in drinks. I've also used them in other baked goods, pumpkin pie, you name it. You're gonna need these fall spices. They definitely make it. You could probably make these cookies any size that you wanted to. I always use my little cookie scooper here. I think this is a two tablespoon cookie scoop and this just works really, really well to make sure that they're all uniform. And you'll see in just a second when I pull them out of the oven that I just ice them using canned cream cheese icing. You could always make your own homemade icing, but I was in a pinch and the stuff out of the can tastes perfectly fine in my opinion. So you've got a homemade cookie and some canned icing and it is the best best homemade treat and a huge hit at any family get together. I would also really encourage you guys if you have not been to Hobby Lobby yet to go and check out all of their Christmas and winter decor. The day that I went, everything was 50% off and I mean pretty much everything in the store was 50% off. So here is a little sneak peek of a few of the things that I saw when I was at Hobby Lobby and I'm gonna be doing my Christmas shop and haul video here very soon. So if you are into Christmas content, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. This is my first Christmas doing YouTube and I cannot wait 
wait to come out with some amazing Christmas videos. I am hosting a Friendsgiving here pretty soon in another few weeks. And then we are taking down all the fall decor and the Christmas stuff is going up and I am so, so excited. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Please be sure to hit the like button if it helps motivate you. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, please be sure to do so before you go. And I'll see you guys again really soon with a brand new video. Bye guys. We'll find a way slow.